Bill Anderson, you're in Manhattan in front of a doctor's office. This is a guy trying to help gang members get rid of their tattoos. But there's a long story behind it. What do you got? Yeah, I actually came up to New York because I heard the story of Dr. David Ori. See, somebody who's been serving the community for years, uh, gang members, individuals who couldn't afford to pay. And I found out about the story because there were some tax issues. And Bill, you ultimately would love this story. Uh, a tax came up out of nowhere that he was unaware of. He got hit with a $27,000 tax bill. The community, because of his years of support, came together and actually raised the funds for him to pay that bill. Over 600 people gave me money, $10, $40, some gave 100 but low amounts of money. Like, I can't believe it. So wonderful. It's a wonderful life. And while here, I found out about the Fresh Start program, and that is the program where gang members, individuals who made poor decisions in their youth, can actually come to him and other doctors for free, and they will take the tattoos off of you. I spoke to Dr. Orris and asked him why he would do something like that. We'll take ex-offenders. If they have a job, the return rate to prison is 15% in two years. Without a job, it's 90%. Now, if a guy gets a job, he's paying taxes, and he's working somewhere, and he's supporting a wife, kids, family. Imagine that difference, the other side of that coin, if he goes back to jail. Then I spent some time with Carlos. Carlos is from New Jersey. Carlos was deeply involved in the gang life in his younger years, and Carlos found out that having tattoos across his hand, tattoos across his neck, was making it nearly impossible for him to get a job. So he came and spoke to Dr. Dave. He had them removed, and he said it's the best decision that he ever made. You go to job interviews, you got teardrops. Or let's say um, you just came out of prison. You all tatted up. How are you gonna find a job? You're not gonna find a job. And if you do find a job, it's gonna be working at a warehouse somewhere where you're not gonna be seen. And you're gonna be making BS money because you're worth nothing. You know, you wonder that there, there isn't some balance there that the state couldn't have looked at this and said, you know what, the amount of money you're saving the taxpayers by keeping some of these folks out of prison, think about what it costs every year to keep these folks recycling through prison, uh, they should have just given them a break on it. Yeah, you know, and Bill, it was interesting to sit there and hear some of the stories, both from Carlos and from Dr. Dave. They tell stories of guys whose gang past is well in the past, but they get stopped by police. These are guys who are trying to do the right thing and look out for their families. But as soon as they go to interview for a job, some of these tattoos will stop them from doing it. There's a lot of really interesting background stories from Dr. Dave. What kind of tattoos are we talking about? Uh, it varies. I saw tattoos that were teardrop uh, coming down from the eye. I saw tattoos that were gang symbols going down the side of your head. Carlos, who we interviewed, actually had baby crip across his Bill, that, the teardrop i mean we're not we're not just talking about a couple wayward kids that were smoking some pot i understand the teardrop symbolizes uh, at least in some gangs that they've murdered someone it can now it doesn't always symbolize that but it can and a lot of these guys have done time but dr dave and the clients make no bones about the fact that they made bad decisions made bad choices paid the debt but now they're trying to move on